Today we have an incredible and a somewhat confusing movement. There are conflicting signals between the spy and the QQQ because while we see the spy inside what appears to be a congestion area, the QQQ continues to fly and uh, today it renewed its all-time high. So we can say that yes, this is a quite challenging scenario, but we can still make a good reading of the market's main inflection points and find good opportunities out there. This is the Finance Hydra channel where you get bias-free analysis every single day. Here, we don't work with guesswork or assumptions. Here, we only pay attention to the technical evidence that unfolds on the charts so that we can base our strategies on it. My name is Nathan and I appreciate our audience. So let us start our daily study analyzing the SPY ETF, which is right now roughly on break even, making another bearish candlestick pattern, which just reinforces our idea that yes, this movement over here is nothing more, nothing less than a sideways correction. It is a classic congestion. Here we see the price moving sideways while the 21 day EMA, the exponential moving average, tries to reach the price instead of the price making a sharp correction, trying to retest its next technical support levels. So yes, classic sideways correction. However, on the daily chart, we are still in an, in an uptrend. We are still making higher highs, higher lows. If we see any bullish reaction above the support level, SPY could just trigger another buying opportunity. Only if SPY loses this support level made by the 21-day EMA and made by the $600, the previous top level multiple times, one, two, three, four times in the past, which is a technical support level for us in the future, following the principle of polarity in technical analysis, only by losing this double support level, we are going to see SPY actually reversing the bullish bias on the daily chart, suggesting a sharper correction and a possible top signal on the weekly chart. And as far as I know, on the weekly chart, we could see SPY correcting back to the 21 week EMA. Therefore, the $600 area near the 21 day EMA is still our most important inflection point. Only by losing this double support level, SPY could turn really bearish in the next few weeks. As long as we stay above it, great. The uptrend will remain valid because trends persist until a clear reversal occurs. This is not me saying, this is Charles Dow saying in his Dow theory, all right? I think it is the tenet number six. Trends persist until a clear reversal occurs, all right? Charles Dow is the founder of the Wall Street Journal and the creator of the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, all right? So this is not me saying, this is the father of technical analysis saying, as long as we don't see a reversal, the uptrend will persist. And what we see here on the QQQ is a classic example of how this works, because yesterday, we saw a bearish reaction. I told you guys yesterday, guys, look, this could be just a harmless pullback to the 21 hour EMA before bouncing to higher levels. It all depends on how the QQQ is going to behave tomorrow. If we find a support level above this area, fantastic. Right now, apparently, we are finding up we are finding support level above the 21 hour EMA. Today we are breaking the previous all-time high. We made a new record high today, maintaining the uptrend while the spy is still in a sideways congestion. We see the QQQ clearly in bullish territory on the one hour and on the daily charts alike. So we see a crystal clear uptrend. Nathan, what's the reversal point for the QQQ? We got to lose this triple support level, the $515, the previous top level, which is very close to the 21 day EMA, which is also very close to this purple trend line, which connects the previous support levels on the QQQ since August this year. All right. So it is a triple support level. We are quite far away from this key point. So 
it is not gonna be easy for the QQQ to actually reverse the medium term uptrend. We could see the QQQ losing its support levels on the one hour chart, uh, triggering a bearish reversal on the one hour chart, maybe a possible possible all right i'm not saying this is gonna happen i'm saying this is a possible scenario maybe a kind of double top chart pattern next week however this could be just a harmless pullback on the daily chart so we see tech stocks clearly clearly in an uptrend we see the qqq very bullish it is not gonna be easy at all for it to reverse its medium term trend any any pullback to this triple support level could be just another buying opportunity. And how this affects our stocks? Because we see NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA going down almost more than 2.5% today, 2.40% 2.40% right now today. Uh, another bearish reaction. I was, honestly, I was quite, uh, quite anxious about it because if we saw Nvidia breaking this key point over here at 140, breaking this above the stomachs, candlestick pattern high, breaking the 21 day EMA as well. We could see Nvidia bouncing to higher levels, maybe retesting the 146, potentially seeking the all time high again. However, we failed miserably in breaking this key point. I'm so sorry, I think anxious is not the right word because I'm never anxious about anything in this market, but I had high expectations on NVIDIA. However, it failed in triggering this bottom signal. It is right now rejecting any bullish possibility, seeking the 132 support level, which is the most dangerous support level over here because it is the neckline of this head and shoulders chart pattern, this two-headed uh, head and shoulders chart pattern, right? It is still a head and shoulders because we see bullish pivot points followed by a potential bearish pivot point right now. So in theory, by losing the 132, Nvidia will trigger this bearish reversal chart structure, suggesting a sharper correction, possibly, possibly on the weekly chart because we are not we are not only going to trigger this head and shoulders pattern on the weekly on the daily chart but on the weekly chart we could lose the 21 week EMA so it is going to be a very problematic situation for Nvidia our next technical support level is around 115 dollars okay so we gotta be very careful over here it was it was a quite promising one all right it was trying to make a good bullish reaction this week but uh it simply frustrated all of our expectations right now it is rejecting any possible bottom signal i did share this bottom signal in our community this potential bottom signal in our community the five percent project and you can join our community of traders by becoming a member of the five percent project which is an educational project of the finance hydra channel where you can learn our trading method with real market experience yes i personally share trading signals and strategies with you in great in great detail so that you can understand the logical and technical reasons behind each single trade and as a bonus you get my ebook on technical analysis so that you can learn and make the most of the signals and studies you receive every single day on our channel so if you want to join us you'll find more information on our website the link is in this video's description all right so just take a look see for yourself if you like my service or not now continuing our analysis tesla so the key point is 132, the neckline of this head and shoulders. It all depends on how Nvidia is going to close next week, if we're going to lose this key support level or not. Meanwhile, we see Tesla making a new record high again, right? Maintaining the price above the $414, which is clearly, clearly a technical support level for us in addition to the 21 hour EMA. So guys, $414, 
was the previous top level, was the previous all-time high from November 2021. Now it is acting as a short-term support level for us. Another example of how the princip of how the principle of the the principle of polarity in technical analysis works. Okay, so another classic example over here, we see Tesla finding a support level above this area, above the 21 hour EMA, maintaining the uptrend, maintaining the pattern of higher highs, higher lows, right? Uptrends are made of higher highs, higher lows. Eventually, we'll see lows. When we see lows, we see people panicking, guys. We are in an uptrend. Lows, when we see corrections, we see just potential buying opportunities, all right? It is not a reason for you to sell, to panic, sell, to start panicking, etc. It is an opportunity for you to do a technical buy with a good risk reward ratio following the main momentum, all right? So do not panic when we see drops. As long as we see bullish chart structures maintaining the uptrend as long as we don't see technical evidence suggesting that tesla or any stock will reverse its uptrend that's okay it is not gonna be a reason to panic at all all right you will be fine now in this scenario as long as you use a strategy of course you will be fine now in this scenario nathan do we see any potential top signal no not at all there is not even a single there is not the slightest top signal but nathan yesterday we saw this bearish candlestick pattern as i have been telling you guys multiple times in this channel one single bearish candle is not enough to ruin our bullish thesis over here just like it wasn't over here just like it wasn't i don't know over over here as well right or even over here this hanging man candlestick pattern right I, I know it is a bullish candle but it was still a potential hanging man pattern some people started to panic over here guys one single candle is not enough to reject our bullish thesis all right it is simply not enough now before i forget guys you have been watching this video for 12 minutes right now. If you're still watching me and you're not a subscriber, subscribe because I need more people like you in this channel, dedicated people who can pay attention to one video for more than one minute, right? I, I, I already told you guys this in this channel and I'm going to tell you again. My videos are usually quite long. They're quite dense, full of, full of technicalities over here. So if you are still watching this video this channel is for you and i want people like you here i don't mind uh, this is one of the reasons why i take at least 10 minutes to ask you to subscribe because most people can't most people simply simply can't watch my videos for more than five minutes i don't know their attention span is already destroyed by tiktok by Instagram reels, etc. So if you have the patience, if you if you if you have the attention span long enough to pay attention to my videos, it is because this channel is for you. So consider subscribing and click the like button to support me as well. Your like means a lot. Guys, trust me, it means a lot. Your support means a lot. Thank you for your audience. Now let's continue our analysis. Uh, I'm so sorry regarding Tesla. $414 is our most important support level. If you ask me, Nathan, what kind of bearish reaction Tesla has to do in order to convince you that we may see a top signal and a potential correction over the next few days? If we lose $414, all right, by closing below this key point, I see Tesla making a sharper correction, possibly to retest the 21-day EMA or maybe even the $384, again, the previous top level, future support level for us, all right? But uh, as long as we stay above 414, no pullback will materialize. There is absolutely no reason to worry. If we see pullback, Probably it is going to be just another buying opportunity near our support level with a good risk reward ratio. If we lose money, guys, why I focus so much on the risk reward ratio? Because 
every single time we lose money because eventually we're gonna lose all right we are not we are not 100 accurate in fact if you take a look at my website you can find my own trading statistics you'll see that we are right roughly almost 70 percent of the time so we are not right 100 percent of the time however if we have a good risk reward ratio every single time we lose money we are not gonna lose as much as we would make when we are right so our wins will outweigh our losses this is how you achieve consistency this is how you're gonna become a consistent trader in the long term all right so always focus on not only on accuracy but also on a good risk reward ratio all right now amd this one looks quite interesting because it simply can't stop dropping we see amd on the verge of retesting its next support level 121 there is not a single oh what's more yesterday we did find a, a resistance level around the 132 which was a previous support level now it is a crystal clear resistance level for us we are gonna retest the 121 there is not a single technical evidence suggesting that we are not gonna do that suggest that we are finding a support level or that we could recover from here no 121 is our next technical support level amd lost this purple trend line this long-term purple trend line over here ruining the upwards momentum on the weekly chart so amd does not look good a few weeks ago it was looking very promising i was eager to trade amd again however right now it is not all right it simply failed in making a decent bullish reaction there is not a single buy signal right here right now all right now palantir <laughs> This one over here is looking quite good because it is not only in an uptrend, but it simply rejected the potential top signal it triggered. It triggered, I'm so sorry. It materialized over here this Monday, December 9, which was a bearish single thing candlestick pattern. Right now, we are maintaining the uptrend. We are avoiding triggering this top signal we are above the 71 dollars which is the trigger point of this uh, top signal over here we don't see any bearish reaction on the daily chart on the weekly chart we see a possible top signal but again guys one single candle is not enough to make a top signal just like it wasn't over here just like it wasn't over here just like it wasn't over here right once one single candle is not enough we gotta see palantir losing its major support levels on the daily chart like the 71 dollars like the 21 day ema and only then we may consider working on a possible top signal on palantir but remember we are in an uptrend any any pullback maybe to the 21 week ema could be just another fantastic buying opportunity all right are we good over here now broadcom this one is fantastic is fantastic broadcom if we take a look at this heat map over here we see that broadcom is right now a one trillion dollar company it is reaching tesla's market cap and considering that tesla is around its all-time high again this is a very incredible feat broadcom is going up 32 percent this week all right 32 percent and uh, guys a little bit off topic over here this heat map give us a quite important hint of why the market is why the market is so so complicated right now we see that most guys most stocks are going down most of them a few stocks are actually going up the problem is that the few stocks that are up are quite big okay we are talking about the large ones broadcom apple google amazon tesla only the big stars over here are in green territory right now the vast majority of stocks are down okay and this is one of the reasons why we see spy making nothing we see qqq reaching its all-time high it's because of this right this is the heat map to blame all right now back to broadcom incredible bullish reaction 
making a fantastic recovery. Broadcom triggered a buy signal for us at the 5% project down here. I already recommended selling near our target because I don't recommend holding any stock during earnings report, okay? For swing trading purposes, if you are a long-term investor, okay, obviously you're gonna hold during earnings, but uh, for swing trading purposes, it is quite uncertain, it is quite uh, dangerous to hold a position during earnings because we can't tell. It is impossible to tell. However, right now, if you ask me any any pullback on Broadcom, any pullback to the 185, or I don't know if we see any bullish reaction materializing a bottom signal above, above the 185, above the 21 day EMA, it will be just another buying opportunity. And uh, this is a quite technical movement, right? We see Broadcom almost, almost replicating. Uh, Re replicating the size of this congestion in the direction of the breakout. Of course, right now it is going up a little bit more, but it is still a quite interesting movement. We see Broadcom insanely bullish. Any, any pullback will be just another buying opportunity. Arm holdings, you guys are worried about arm holdings as well. Guys, there is absolutely nothing to worry because arm holdings just hit my personal target at one at 154 it, it, it is our personal target because i recommended buying arm holdings down here right now our target was reached all right this one gave us two buy signals one down here and another one over here okay crystal clear buy signal it did an upwards breakout of this descending channel right now it hit our target it is a technical sell now if you ask me nathan arm holdings could could this one fly to higher levels? Well, it could because there is a technical resistance at 164. However, to me, at least as a swing trader, I think arm holdings is a sell for profit taking purposes only. All right, not a short for profit taking purposes. And this is funny because some people, guys, this week, guys, this week I received like four or five emails of people ask me, Nathan, in your Telegram channel, do you recommend tech stocks? Nathan, in your Telegram channel, do you give crystal clear buy and sell signals? Nathan, I don't know if your Telegram channel is for me, right? What kind of stocks do you analyze, guys? You can join our Telegram channel for free, all right? It is totally free to join. Of course, some data will be required because some people can take advantage of a loophole and the, uh, and, uh, and uh, use the free trial forever, but you are not, we are not going to charge you, okay? It is totally free to join. You can download our ebook for free as well and see for yourself if the channel is for you or not. Since our track record speaks by itself, most people will join us forever, but you can join for free. Again, the link is in this video's description. All right, so arm holdings is a technical sell to me. All right, for profit taking purposes, any pullback to the 21 day EMA or to the 142, it will be just another buying opportunity. Super microcomputer around a support level. This one looks quite interesting. Okay, I like this. I like when I see a stock fulfilling its target because we just closed this open gap over here. Now we are dropping, retesting the 21 day EMA, a classic support level. Any bullish reaction near the support level could be another buying opportunity. However, there is no bullish reaction yet. Okay, so we gotta wait for a crystal clear signal. And of course, I'll be here every single day, keeping you guys updated on Super Microcomputer, ARM Holdings, Broadcom, Palantir, AMD, Tesla, Nvidia, QQQ, Spy, and many other stocks. So again, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. This channel is for you. Here, we study very hard. We focus on technical evidence. I'm not gonna incite panic. I'm not gonna try to spread panic, to spread euphoria. We just pay attention to the technical evidence so we can build our strategies and work with intelligence, with calm and intelligence. All right, so join the Finance Hydra channel. Take a look at my website for more information about my service to you. Thank you for your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. See you guys Monday. Bye-bye.